Okay, at least he's using Cinderace. I'm like, this guy better be using Cinderace. If he's not, then that kind of sucks. <coughs> so I think I'm going to bring Lycanroc with us this time around. Uh, Lycanroc will threaten two of his Pokemon, at least. We want to bring Tissarina. I think we could bring Tissarina here. I want to try looking up something real quick. Do I have enough time to look it up? I'm not too sure. And definitely Haxorus. I don't know if this is going to be enough time. I really want to check something real quick. This thing is taking too long. We're just going to have to go with this, I guess. Oh, wait. I'll too late. <laughs> well, let's find out real quick. Nah. Helping Ham is unfortunately not enough. I was hoping Helping Ham would help us. Sorry for the typing again, I know it gets pretty annoying from time to time. Let's get it. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Wasn't sure if you were going to be able to make it. Uh, yeah, I'm starting a little bit earlier today. Uh, do I want to try and taunt his Whimsicott? Let's see if we can get the taunt off, and then we'll just use we'll just Acelerock the Togekiss and hopefully one shot if he doesn't Dynamax it. Got off a worker too. Oh, nice. <clears throat> That's pretty good. Rillaboom. Ah, kind of unfortunate about the Rillaboom, but let's see what. Let's see. All right, maybe we can maybe we can kill the Rillaboom pretty quickly. Oh, my taunt went off first. Good. Finally. So now he can't tailwind, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that's not strong. Oh, you went for the Moonblast, actually. Okay. I thought you were going to try and set up tailwind. Not, right, but I guess not. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be switching the Tissarina in here. And if anything, we'll, we'll bring the, like, uh... We'll bring like and rock a little bit later in. <clears throat> this should stop whatever fake out he plans to use. If he has any fake out. No, I guess not. Yeah, grassy glide, but that prevents it. Sorry. And unfortunately the moon blast is probably you can do it, thanks. <laughs> and unfortunately that's gonna kill me off, but that's fine. I want to switch to Haxorus in now. Yeah, we want to try and abuse the speed boost, so I think we're going to bring in Haxorus now. <clears throat> uh, definitely want Dark. Mm, Rillaboom shouldn't be too much of an issue right now. I think we want to try and get rid of the, the Whimsicott real quick. Can I kill a Rillaboom at this power? I don't think I can. I'll just double target into the Whimsicott just to get rid of it. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. He's gonna bring his Togekiss. Okay. That's fine. Well, we'll probably kill off his... His, um... What was I saying? <laughs> we'll probably kill off the Whimsicott here right now, and then next turn we'll try to kill off the Tokikiss. But we'll have to see uh, what else he's going to be running. I'm surprised he didn't try setting up Tailwind on his Whimsicott, but that's fine. Bringing out oh, you don't even have a uh, Focus Sash. Are you even... What do you have on your, to on your Whimsicott then? <clears throat> that's interesting. Unfortunately, we get that special attack boost. I should probably switch. Nah, but I kind of like the poison damage a little bit more, honestly. Alright, another triple axel will kill the Togekiss. So that's pretty good. Alright, I think we, we already got a good start to this. 
I just have to see what his last Pokemon is going to be. <clears throat> Cinderace. I had a feeling it was Cinderace. We're just gonna... Uh, no, because he could just do follow me. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to risk it. I think we'll protect here. And we'll probably just try killing off his Togekiss. He's probably gonna go for a max airstream, but that's fine. I, I still outspeed him for at least one turn if he's gonna do a max airstream. Yep, there's the Cinderace. And it probably has max airstream. That's almost every Cinderace. So we should be uh we should be able to survive this turn at least, I think. Yep, there's the follow me, so I made a good I made a good prediction there. Alright, so now the Rillaboom comes in. He's going to target my Sin. Um, oh, Max Knuckle. Okay. Interesting. You have high jump pick then. Who is that targeting? Oh, my Haxorus. Not a lot of damage. He's gonna get the attack boost, so next turn he's gonna do a little bit more. Ooh, and you have a life orb. Uh, I think we're gonna try something. <clears throat> okay, this is my last turn of Tailwind, so I really have to make this count. I feel like Cinderace might protect. I don't even know if, he, if he's ready to protect on Cinderace. Because I could just try killing off the Rillaboom instead. Let's try killing off the Rillaboom instead. We're gonna help him hand the Haxorus just so we can try the one shot. Make a count. Yeah, for real. Okay, he's not protecting. I probably should have gone and killed off that Cinderace instead. But now the Rillaboom is dead, so we don't have to worry about his priority move. <clears throat> we lowered the attack on Cinderace, so that should allow my Haxorus to survive one more hit, I think. Now he's going for the max airstream, so now he's definitely faster than me. And that goes into my Haxorus once again. Yep, we get to live, like I said. Across my tailwind. Uh, let's see. I don't think he's gonna do another. He shouldn't do another max airstream. We're just gonna have to protect here. I'm gonna go for the power whip. It's not very effective right now, but I feel like he's gonna change his typing again to something else. So my power whip should do more damage. He's probably gonna change it to fighting. Yep, he's gonna change it to fighting. That'll probably kill off my Haxorus, but that's fine. We're gonna get the... Yeah. Ugh. Was really hoping I would maybe survive with 1 HP. But that's fine. Unfortunately, he now has a plus 1 in attack and plus 1 speed. But I think now that he's he takes neutral damage to grass, so... This should do a lot of damage. Nice, nice. Alright, I'm pretty glad we kept uh, Lycanroc then. Because now we just Acceleroc him, and I think that will give us the KO for sure. Because <laughs> Cinderace doesn't have a lot of defense, so... We should be able to kill him off here right now, I think. Oh, actually, you're not very... You're not uh, weak to... That's right, Fighting Resist Rock. Not bad. Uh, he's going to go faster than me, so I kind of have to go for it. I'm just gonna go double attack. Because he can only kill one Pokemon at a time. Yeah, and then th this next power whip. Oh, you're you're changing to steel type. Interesting. <clears throat> and then power whip. Yep, there we go. First win. 
First game, already got our first win. That's great. Good start so far. I like it. <clears throat> That's a GG right there. Oh, made some pretty good predictions there, in my opinion. Uh, really glad I was able to call out on his uh, switch on his follow me on that toga kiss and getting rid of the the whimsicott early on. Though I'm really surprised he didn't have um, focus sash on his whimsicott because almost everyone, <coughs> oh wow, almost everyone runs focus sash on their whimsicott just so they can guarantee or try to guarantee a setup. But I guess this guy don't want a G, just game. Damn, 1632? This guy is insane. Oh, you have Dracovish and Lapras. Uh, wow. <laughs> this looks really annoying. Who do I bring in here? I don't know if I want to bring in my own Wimsica. Because normally the way I beat Lapras is with Tesserina and Urshifu in one, one shot. But since he's got a one Sakata and Dracovish, I feel like I need to change it up my team a little bit too. Um, let's see, what can we do? I think we're going to have to risk a few things. I think we're going to do one Sakata Haxorus. Though I feel like that's going to be a bad idea. I think we have to bring Urshifu here. We don't really need Tissarina. I mean, Tissarina would be great versus the Lapras, but... I think I can maybe try killing off the Lapras a little bit earlier. Do I want Cinderace here? Cinderace helps us with, like, three of his mons. And a Celerock. Celerock is actually also decent here. Okay, actually, I think I'm going to lead off with a Celerock. Uh, Lycanroc. I keep saying Acceleroc, that's the name of his move. <laughs> I'm messing up the names. Lycanroc. I think we're gonna bring in Lycanroc first, like last game. <laughs> now we'll hopefully threaten a few of his mons. Let's see what happens here. Uh... Once I caught him Lapras. Uh, kinda wish I brought Urshifu in. Oh well. This one's gonna be a tough match, I think. Uh, do I want Tailwind? I think we're gonna go for the Dazzling Gleam and a Celerock his Whimsicott just to get it out of the way. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that Lapras is gonna set up a Roar Veil, which is really gonna suck. If, if Lycanroc can somehow survive, we can maybe switch it out to use Psychic Fangs later to get rid of Aurora Veil. Okay, that's fine. We weren't going for Tailwind, which kinda sucks though. I probably would taunt taunted the Whimsicott. Yeah, I probably would. I probably should have too. But I think I can KO the Whimsicott here. Yeah, okay, the, the Whimsicott's gone, so I didn't need to taunt him, at least. Yeah, now he's going G-Max Resonance. That's gonna go to my Whimsicott, but that's fine. Because we get to survive with 1 HP. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to switch to my Urshra food now. I think I want to switch into my Urshra food. Oh, you have a life orb on Lapras. Uh, maybe I could. No, because he has a raw avail. I want to try and save uh, Lycanroc until he gets out of Dynamax so I can maybe Psychic Fang and get rid of a raw avail. Do I want to do that? Or do I just want to try and go Hyper Offense? No, because right now he's taking 50% reduced damage, so... I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough damage. Draco Vish. <clears throat> I think we're just going to get rid of his Draco Vish. I think that would be the better play, it's just to try and like get rid of his Pokemon. Oh, you're running Protect on Dracovish? Oh no. I thought for sure you would have had a uh, Choice Scarf, like almost every Dracovish ever. 
Wow, some people are bringing some really different things here. J Max Geyser, because he probably has an electric move. There goes my Lycan Rock. <laughs> Unfortunately, has a life orb. I don't think I can survive uh, a hit, an ice move from Lapras, um, Haxorus, even if I Dynamax. Is he gonna have? It's like a super offensive Lapras. Yeah, he's gonna one shot me. That's for sure. Actually, I got a better idea. We're just gonna max guard. Waste this last turn of Dynamax. I'm gonna waste the turn as well. But I at least I can take probably an Ice Beam better than his G Max Resonance. And he didn't switch, so I'm assuming he doesn't have a Toga Kiss in the background. Because I feel like he would have he would have shown his Toga Kiss if he brought it. Unfortunately, that Aurora Veil really helps him out. Vicious Ren kills off my Vensicot. And then he's gonna hit. Well, he's not gonna hit Haxorus because of Max Guard. So I can maybe survive. Uh, I think I can survive a, an Ice Beam instead of a G Max Resonance. Now, unfortunately. Oh, uh, this is going to suck a bit. I feel like I have to kill the Lapras here. Yeah, I think we just have to try and kill off the Lapras. I kind of want to kill off the Draco Fish, but I don't think... Let's see what happens. It's a little scary, to be honest. <laughs> see what happens here I'm really hoping we can we can get rid of this Lapras because the Lapras is, is probably my biggest fear sorry for the typing again I might get working right I will hope so. yeah it should be working okay the Draco Vish went protect that's fine I wasn't targeting him so hopefully we can kill off this Lapras Yes, we can. <clears throat> and because of that, my Urshifu gets an attack boost. Awesome. Because my Haxorus went before his Urshifu. Now we close combat the Lapras. Lapras is gone. So now we just have to worry about his Dracovish, which Haxorus outspeeds automatically. And I need to see what his last Pokemon is. I feel like it's gonna be the Toga Kiss. If oh, he has his own Urshifu. He can do it. Thanks. Uh. Okay. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is we're all speed. We all speed tie here. I think I want to defend instead. I'm gonna protect, and I'm just gonna max Swarm Wind the uh, the Draco Vish to kill it off already. And then his, his Urshifu will get a minus one attack, hopefully, so it's going to be doing less damage. Ah, that's right. I forgot, it goes through Protect anyways. I should just attack regardless. I, com <laughs> I forgot that's what Urshifu does, he just ignores uh, the uh, Protect and Detect. Really dumb ability. I should have just tried going for the offense and hoping. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That, well, he's minus one attack now. Let's see if that makes a difference. I really hope it does. Well, I I hope. I mean, I hope it makes a difference that he's a minus one attack. Oh, but he could just wicked blow me with because he's the dark one. As long as I go first. No, he goes first. Uh, yes, that minus one attack made a difference. 
Oh, don't tell me you're- Oh, but you're probably Focus Sash, aren't you? No, you're not Focus Sash. Oh, two wins already. That's great. I'm glad we beat- we got- I we- we almost lost a speed tie. That, that's- that's the worst part. But I'm glad we were able to get that attack drop on him. That really saved us.